What inspires change? What motivates us? It's what's inside that moves us. What moves you? Get the Scion story at scion.com. It has been nearly a month since Father Paul Goffigan was forced to resign as a Santa Barbara Catholic Church pastor. He was accused of failing to obey Archbishop Anthony Aperon's directive to dismiss an employee who was a registered sex offender. But Father Goffigan has stated that he had. In an earlier interview with PNC, Father Goffigan said he took the employee off the payroll after he was advised to do so in 2011. The man's role at the parish became voluntary from that point on, according to Father Goffigan. And the priest refuses to resign, telling PNC that his rights as a priest were violated when he wasn't given a chance to defend himself before the archdiocese made its abrupt decision a month ago. Father Goffigan has retained a canon lawyer, Father Adolfo Dacanay, a Jesuit priest who heads the prestigious Ateneo de Manila University's theology department. Though Father Dacanay declined to comment on the case since it is in litigation, one thing he did make clear. There is no employee-employer relationship between a bishop and a priest. The uh, Rome had clarified um, a few years ago that the relationship between the bishop and the priest is not an employer-employee relationship. So uh, I would be very careful about describing the relationship between the priest and uh, and the bishop as an employee-employer relationship. Another man who thinks Father Goffigan may have been wronged is vocal Catholic Tim Rohr. He declined an on-camera interview, but he maintains a blog that discusses at length the scandal within the church. Rohr cites a section in canon law that allows an aggrieved person to avoid contention by seeking a mutually fair solution. Rohr goes on to explore the limitations of sinners as employees of the Catholic Church, pointing out that if the Archdiocese denies employment to registered sex offenders, what about other violent crimes? Father Goffigan's attorney, Father Dockenai, says there are no set rules in the Roman Catholic Church. Rather, each diocese would have its own guidelines. He notes that non-pastoral positions usually abide by these guidelines. Now, if it is uh, something to do with... Uh, Non, with non priest like uh, I would imagine uh, <laughs> uh, a catechist or uh, a, a secretary in the parish, I would imagine that uh, there are general laws, there are general guidelines in canon law, but I would imagine that each diocese would have its own guidelines. When asked, however, whether these same guidelines would apply to volunteers, Father Doc and I declined to comment. He does note, however, that Father Goffigan's case is in litigation. Archbishop Aperon returned from his trip to Brazil on August 9th. It was expected that Father Goffigan and the Archbishop would have a chance to iron out their differences. And while there's been no word yet on whether the two have met over the case, Father Doc and I does note that his client's case is moving forward. If this case goes forward, are you going to have to be flown out to Guam to, you know, to represent um, Father Goffigan? Or is this, you know, how, how does that work? It's mainly paperwork.